Today we're going to take a look at another custom Honda Monkey 125. Well, it's not a 125 anymore and it's pumping out more than 30 horsepower now. Wait, what? But we'll dive more into that shortly. If you're not familiar with what the Monkey is in its stock form, check out my past review on one by clicking up here. And in case you missed my last custom Monkey build video on this one here, I'll throw links up top and below as well. This bike belongs to Bud down in the Atlanta, Georgia area, and if you're into quality, handmade leather, check out his company called Jofu Leather Craft and help support one of our veterans. Check him out on Instagram too, as he's got one of the coolest CBR300R swap groms you'll see around. This monkey was built by Wayne Strickland at the Speed Shop down in Villarica, Georgia, and he was kind enough to let me make the trip south to visit his shop and round up some of his customers' bikes for me to film. If you're unfamiliar with the Speed Shop or what they do, I'll have links below and trust me, you want to see some of the work Wayne does as it's on another level. This Honda Z50 tribute styled monkey started its life out as a 2019 monkey finished in yellow. Bud picked it up used with only 400 miles and then started to modify it with the Yoshimari exhaust, Olin shocks, and rode it around for a bit before finding out about Wayne thanks to the Professional Dillweeds YouTube video on one of Wayne's monkey builds. That's when the madness started. I need one of these. One of the big ones. After a couple of different big bore kits and rounds of other mods, it was time to do a complete tear down to the frame to get rid of all that yellow. Then we fast forward to where we're at today and we'll start off first with the suspension. It has an Olin setup up front and matching dual rear shocks with the springs painted so you don't have that yellow sticking out like a sore thumb. When it comes to styling, you've got carbon fiber fork guards and hidden under that orange paint are carbon fenders too. They were painted by Kurt over at National Superbike in Villarica, Georgia, and I'll have links below with his info too as he's done some amazing builds that you should check out as well. One of which is a carbon fiber Honda CT70 that I'm working on a video about right now. But back on topic, that's not all the carbon goodies on this monkey either. Check out those baller status carbon fiber BST wheels. And to add a more premium feel to the bike, as if carbon everything wasn't enough to do that, you've got the Eurospec turn signals and tail light which look a million times better than the lighting setup used on our US spec monkeys. To help bring in that nostalgic Honda feel to the bike, you've also got a Kotako seat which really helps tie the whole old school Honda theme together, and CRG bar and mirrors to get rid of those factory lollipop mirrors. Now we're at the part that'll really get your blood pumping and that's the engine on this monkey. He's tried out a couple of different setups, but right now it's sporting a 186cc Gromfather's Billet Big Bore Kit with a 5-speed, and keep in mind, the 5-speed setup didn't come standard until the 2022 Monkey. It's also sporting a ported 4-valve Coso head with an A-Racer ECM to help dial in its 30-plus horsepower this engine is pumping out through that absolutely beautiful over-racing titanium exhaust. And to say this thing sounds wild would be an understatement. Listen at how it revs compared to a DHM Stage 3 Monkey 125. Yeah, needless to say, she's bad, and that engine package on this makes me want to go into debt for something I can't afford right now. Are we gonna rob a bank? Yes. But that's a quick overview of the modifications done to this Honda Monkey 125. It's nowhere near all of them, as we could ramble on for another 10 minutes about them all, but hopefully this gives you an idea as to what's possible with this platform. Enough of me rambling though, what do you guys think about this bike? Is there anything you would have done differently? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments section and I'll be joining in on the conversation too. I want to take another quick second and say thanks again to Wayne for letting me come down and Bud for bringing his bike out so I could check it out as well and for being my chauffeur so we could get some of these rolling shots of the bikes. This custom monkey is only a small taste of what's to come so hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know when I upload next. Thanks again for watching and supporting all of this. I really appreciate it guys and we'll see you in the next one.